guys, I'm just going to do a really quick video here on the Home Chef and answer some questions that were in my comments for you guys. I had emailed them because I know some of you who live in Canada that were interested in it. They did send me a link, which I will link in the description box, where you can check your zip code to see if they deliver in your area. They do not right now deliver outside of the United States. However, they said they are working on doing that because they've got a lot of requests for Canada and some other parts outside of the United States. So they are working on that. You can keep checking your zip code in the link to see if that has changed or not. Let me show you what I've got and kind of explain with the pricing and everything on all of it. Okay guys, what I got here is one shipment. I got four meals here, one, two, three, and four. Each meal comes in its own separate bag. And then each meal usually comes with a meat portion. However, I've got three meat portions here. The fig and goat cheese flatbread come with a flatbread instead. So let me just take apart one of these and show you in the hamburger come with the buns too, as well as the hamburger. It turns out being about $9.95 per serving. There, These are two serving bags. So if you get one of these bags, this is for two people. If you order four people meal, for enough for four people, you'll get two of these bags. So I would have got two Swiss fondue burgers and then I would, would have gotten two pounds of the hamburger here instead of one. But this is two serving because we always end up getting enough for my son to, to munch on. And he usually doesn't eat a whole lot anyway. He'll eat something else too. So we always just get the two servings because otherwise it's way too much for us. So we stick with the two and like you see here, there's two flatbreads, you would have gotten four if you'd have ordered four. And then this, all of this here that I've got here was $79.60. So we're gonna end up getting three, six, nine, 12 meals out of all of this probably more because this pork medallion we'll just eat like three or four ounces of this so we'll have an extra probably two servings out of this and probably more out of this too if you're eating like a normal size portion like we've been on the Weight Watchers plan so I really figure out the points and all of that stuff and we just eat exactly either three or four ounces depending on how many points we can give up on our day and then that's how I'll figure it out. So if you order three meals, which is standard is like two or three meals. I just ordered an extra one because I, you know, I felt like having an extra one. If you order three of these meals for two servings, so just one bag, and you order three different meals, it's going to cost you $59.70, and that's per week. It will automatically charge your card so you got to go in and pick the food you want. They'll a lot of times have many different meal options to choose from. Let me show let me bring you on my on my computer and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Here is what the homepage kind of looks like here. And we're going to click on I've I've already gotten this one delivered. So November 14th, they always bill your credit card on a Friday and then you have it at your door on Tuesday or whatever day you choose. I think you can choose either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday meal delivery times. So mine is to, mine is scheduled to arrive on November 14th, so they will charge my credit card this Friday on the 10th, which is tomorrow. So let's click on this one. And this is what I have to choose from. The, these are the ones that I chose. I chose the chicken, and goat cheese butter. So if you click on here, you can view, and then it shows you exactly what's in your bag. And you can check out the calories, carbs, fat, protein, and sodium. They do not have sugar, otherwise it'd be much easier to figure out the points, but I gotta do it by hand because they, they don't do that. So the calories they have, how long it takes to cook it, the difficulty level, and the spice level. So I kind of like that. And then if you click on view complete recipe down here, they will actually give you this complete recipe to make this meal. 
and it shows it goes through all the pictures and how to cook it everything so definitely check this website out because there's so many options in here so let's go back to the delivery calendar go back to the 14th so these will be here next Tuesday for me so I've got the chicken and goat cheese butter this is a customer favorite it is marked highlighted there so that's why I wanted to try that out it is grilled pork chop with whole grain Dijon sauce and then the third one I chose was beef empanada cups now down if you keep scrolling down it says also available there's sirloin steak with white wine sauce now these steak ones are always more so they're like oh I think they're like ten dollars more per package so I usually don't order those plus we got a lot of steak downstairs that we have to eat up yet it has the teriyaki ginger glazed salmon Italian sausage lasagna skillet I figured that would be way too high in points fig glazed pork tenderloin wood fired barbecue chicken pizza black bean enchiladas and then they have a salad kit here that's usually a little bit less per serving mushroom parmesan penne pasta roasted butternut squash risotto and then they also have smoothie choices this is strawberry field smoothie with pear and yogurt so if you order this they will send you the frozen fruit and everything that you can just throw in your blender and make your smoothie those are $4.95 per serving. So usually they come in two size servings. So it's going to be about 10 bucks for this. Um, chicken tor tortellini salad. And then they also have a seasonal fruit basket option, which is $4.95 per serving. So they send you two servings of that. I figured, you know, we've got so much cheap fruit in the store right now that we don't even bother with that. So that would be an extra 10 bucks as well. So these are your different meal options. There's many to choose from, which is why I really like this delivery service versus HelloFresh or any of the other ones that I found because they just send you um, what they have prepared. So you don't get to choose all of these really nice options. Okay, this is the box that the Home Chef comes in. And once you open it, the first thing you'll see on top is your recipe cards. And they have nice, you know, eight by 11 recipe cards. And this is what they look like. I figured out all the points on these already. I'm just kind of showing you how they come packaged. And it comes with this really thick, it's got a cotton lining on the inside and that is recyclable. So you just open it up. All your food packs will be in here. And then at the bottom you will have an ice pack, which is no longer ice. And then a cardboard and then your meats will be at the very bottom of this so that's how it always comes packaged so that is the the packaging and let me bring you over to the counter okay I showed you both of these so we're gonna put those along the side here we're gonna go through Korean pork medallion and it says here what should be in your box so what I do is I go through and check these so it says in here that I should have, and it's just a Ziploc on the top here, you just zip it open, and then you go ahead and take everything out, and I'm going to put that right back in after I check it all. The little bottles will be over here. So it says in here that there should be seasoned rice wine vinegar, which is seasoned rice vinegar right there. So that is here. Two green onions, which is right here. Two garlic cloves, which are right here. Red chili, right here. Pork tenderloin, which I have over there in the bag, which is right here. Uh, tamari so soy sauce, which is right here. So we got two packs of that. It says one half fluid ounce. So those are those. Light brown sugar, right here. Sriracha. There's the sriracha right there. Chopped ginger, which says chopped ginger on there. And I save all these little cap or these little bottles that come in handy. Toasted sesame oil, 
right there and then the eight ounces of slaw mix which are right here so everything is in the bag that they said so then i just throw it back in here and then i'll go ahead and put this right back in the fridge if they by chance get something wrong on your order all you have to do is email them and they email back within the hour and they give you a credit for the whole entire meal Last time I was missing, I was missing the breadcrumbs in that order, and I just contacted them and told them about it. They replaced the whole meal for me, gave me a ten dollar credit on my account, and that was it was all good. But we still were able to have the meal because I had breadcrumbs on the side in my cupboard, so I was able to get the meal or make the meal anyhow. So we have almonds, fig preserves in this one, some cheeses. Um, asparagus, baby arugula, that is. This is goat cheese, and we got two packs of that. And that is for the fig and goat cheese. These are really fun to make. I love making them, and they're super simple. Let me just go through. Here is the directions for it. Let me just give you a close-up view of this. And it tells you exactly the extra things that you're going to need the only things that I've ever run into that I needed extra were olive oil, salt, and pepper, and cooking spray, which I always have on hand. And then it tells you exactly what you need. You need a baking sheet, a small pot, mixing bowl, a large nonstick pan. And then it goes on before you cook. And then it says to preheat your oven and thoroughly rinse produce and pat dry. Prepare a baking sheet with foil and cooking spray. And then ingredients used more than once is cilantro and onions. So you're only going to use probably half of these for the, um, oops, sorry, I was out of frame. So you're only going to probably use half of those at first, and then they will be used again in some other part, step of your dish. So then it goes through and tells you step one, step two, and then down here, step three, step four, and step five so it's really super easy to follow these directions and each card has the little holes at the bottom so i put them if you order for the first time they do send you a white binder it's just a little thin binder it's maybe a half an inch binder and it's soft it's a flimsy one but i got rid of that and i just put it in my my um family cookbook thing and these are the ones that I, the ones that we really love, I keep. And then I can remake this dish because it's so easy to purchase the items needed and just um, remake them. This was one of our favorites right here. It was the Thai turkey lettuce wrap. And I showed you that on one of my videos. It was so good, you guys. It was delicious. This one was good too. This was eight smart points. So then let me go through on how I figure out the points real quick. So let's take... Let's take this Korean pork medallions. And on, on this, I go through, it says you need olive oil, but I don't, I never use the olive oil. I always use just a little bit of cooking spray, so I don't have to count those points. If I do have to count them, I can refigure. But in here, it says two fluids, or two ounces of seasoned rice vinegar. You go in your app in Weight Watchers, and you just figure out how many points this is, and so far, everything I've put in my app came up, and I was able to find it no problem. Um, green onions we know are free. Garlic cloves are free. Red Fresno chili is free. Pork tenderloin, you go in and look up that, and you just kind of weigh what they have in here, and you figure out how many ounces it is, and you go through and put in that. And then I put in for four hours, I put in four ounces a piece, so I just put eight ounces of tenderloin, and I will weigh that out, and then the leftover, we'll just have leftover for that, and count it as, a, as another day. Um, the soy sauce, the light brown sugar, I went in and looked up that, and added that to my recipe builder on my phone, and then the sriracha, the chopped ginger was free, toasted sesame oil, I went in and added that, and then the slaw mix is free. So once you get that all added into the recipe builder and you put in two servings, because that's what they say this feeds is two servings, it comes out to 10 smart points per serving. 
which isn't bad. I mean, that looks delicious. Does it not look delicious? I think that looks awesome. And so I, that's how I figure out the points. I just put in each thing singly into my recipe builder. And that's how I do it. So we figured out this one was 16 for the fig and flatbread. This one was 10. The fondue burger was the most at 20, but I will probably end up cutting my burger in half and the fries in half and just do it as 10, depending on how much of this sauce we use. So I might have to refigure that a little bit. I figured it is all the sauce in there right now. And then the burrito bowl was 15, which isn't bad. You get a huge burrito bowl out of that. So yeah, that is it. Let me move you, let me turn you up here. Yeah, that was, that is all of it. It's super easy to follow the directions. So if you don't think that you're a good cook, you can definitely get these and feel confident that you can follow the directions. It's super easy. You can also look at the level of difficulty they have it rated as. Most of them come easy. Some of them are a little harder because you have a little bit harder steps to do. But most of the time, they're super easy to make. And you really can't go wrong. And you have all of these meals that are already at your fingertips. You don't need to run to the store. You won't forget anything. And we have not run into one that we really just could not eat. There was a couple that we didn't like so much. And I think since we, I used to do this years ago too. And I think from starting back then up until now, I think we ran into two recipes that we wouldn't make again, although they weren't they weren't not edible they were good but we just wouldn't make them again so i just think it's super easy and super easy to figure out the points too you just gotta find them in the app and build your recipe from inside the app so that is it guys if you have any other questions let me know and i'm going to double check the questions that i did get and make sure i answered all of them and like i said if you get three meals for two people every week it comes out to $59.70, which you can't really go wrong with that. In my opinion, it's definitely worth it. I forgot to mention, guys, these, all of the meats that they have for your meals come in this huge Ziploc bag. So nothing is, you know, you just stick the whole bag in your fridge. And e of course, each of them are separately wrapped as well. So them all go in there. They all fit in there. And there, you know, you just double it over, zip lock it, sh zip lock it shut, and you just throw it right in your fridge. Once you get your meals too, it tells you how many days you have to cook within. So this steak burrito bowl, you have to cook this within six days. This one is five days for the fondue burger. This one is also six days for the pork tenderloin. And this little guy is seven days so this one i will cook last and the one that is five days which is this one i will cook first intermediate so it's a little bit harder to cook i think all the other ones are easy easy and easy so this is the only one that's intermediate one question i forgot to answer before i get this uploaded i will answer it real quick do i get them weekly yes i do get them weekly you can choose your day of the week that they are delivered on and you can, if you decide you don't want one one week, you can go in and you can cancel that week and put it on hold and you can go in to cancel months at a time. They give you options for I think the a month and a half in advance so you can check out your foods and get them all picked out so you don't forget later on or if you have to go on vacation you can do that if you go on vacation for a month and or a week or whatever you can you can skip that delivery and there's no extra charge at all ever i went in and i had put it on hold for months and months and months and there was you know they didn't care so and then i just canceled it because i wasn't ordering it anymore but then you can rejoin and just have all of your information still there for you even if you cancel your membership so you just go in put your password back in and then you're poof you're right back in where you left off before so that is really nice and it always has all of your old things that you had ordered in the past and all of that still there for you even if you cancel and come back so you can like i said you can get one week try it out keep your subscription so you can go in and check out the menus and stuff like that and the recipes and then you can pause it just pause your whole subscription cancel everything but you got to remember to go in and click cancel or stop delivery on each week you have to do it each week 
otherwise if you don't if for, if you forget they're going to charge your card and then you're going to get your delivery so just make sure you go in and cancel if you need to but they make it really easy to do that and i'll take you in quick on my account and, and show you how to cancel your your um things okay right down here you can see my account credit that's the when i had that problem they gave me that credit so this is on there for me to use on my next order and let's just go in uh, next week's actually I'm gonna go in way down here I will actually cancel one of these way down here I'm gonna click on the 12th of December my meal summary is 49.80 which I only picked two meals that week so once you click on that on this right here this meals in your order will pop up you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and it says skip delivery and let me just click on that and it'll say are you sure you want to skip the week of monday december 11th and i'm going to say yes i'm sure and then you go back over here and it'll just be an x through here so that's how you can tell quick quickly right away that you've skipped that delivery so if you want to redo it and put it on for active again you click on it again and it says on here this week's delivery is currently set up to be skipped you must reschedule delivery for this week to make changes for your choices so reschedule this week and it's as simple as that and now it's back on to be delivered and there's still the same things that I had chosen in there before okay guys I hope that helped you out and I hope you enjoyed the video I am going to close it here so I can try to get into town to upload it because it ended up being a long video anyway. It was like 20 some minutes, so it's gonna be a while to upload it. Let me know if there's any other questions, put them down in the comment box and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching guys, bye-bye.